predictions. Whoa, we are getting into the bulk of it now. Are you ready? Are you ready to prepare? Now, remember, if you are in a country where you can take notes, please do. If you're not in a country where you can take notes, normally you would have questions, but I'm preparing you in the most difficult way possible. But we're gonna break down each of these conversations. Let's see how long this goes on for. I'm gonna go all the way, all the way, and let's see, <laughs> all the way and all the way and all the way. So here we go. This is eight minutes of glory. If you wanna practice this on your own before doing, uh, you know, tuning into this video, you are more than happy to. Now we got 16 questions, but based on, you know, uh, not exactly sure how they're going to do this. Are they going to be bundled into two or three or four? Or is it going to just be one? So I have no idea. We're going to go into these together and we're going to go from there. But remember, making a mental note and previewing. OK, so here we go. Three, two and one. Questions one to two. One to two. Here Listen to a conversation between a teacher and a student. Now, here we go. One to two. All right, so what we have, I need to hurry up and give you some of these answers. Number one, it says, A, method of predicting earthquakes. B, ways to improve the man's presentation. C, the many new uses of computer graphics. So more than likely, what is the conversation mainly about, right? This looks like thesis. This looks like general topics, right? Now, number two, statistics, computer science, and geology. Now, obviously, method of predicting earthquakes, that could be geology, ways to improve the man's presentation. It could be either, uh, any of them. And the many uses of a computer graphics could be computer science, possibly even statistics. So let's break down this conversation in its totality. Professor Mueller, I've almost finished preparing my presentation for presentation? your class, but I'm not really satisfied with it. Not satisfied. Could you give me some advice? Advice. I'll be happy to. What topic did you choose? Topic? It's about methods of predicting earthquakes. Okay. But so far, it's just a lot of facts and figures. How can I make it more interesting? Maybe you could use some computer graphics to help the class make sense of your statistics. Okay. Number one. Number one. What will the main topic of this talk probably be? Okay, of the talk. Now, the many new uses of computer graphics, that's too specific, right? Ways to improve the man's presentation or method of predicting earthquakes. Now, what is the main topic? Okay. Now, the thing is, he had originally went to, and this is why the opening dialogue, the first question is the most important because he said, I'm having problems with my presentation. I would like some advice. She said, okay, how can I help you? He's like, okay, well, you know, looking at my, you know, I'm almost done with my presentation. But da, 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 da. she said, maybe you could add some computer graphics to make it look more interesting so that they can understand. I'm just paraphrasing here. So obviously, the main topic, you know, the main reason he needs help is because of, you know, a presentation and it's about, you know, the presentation is about the method of predicting earthquakes, right? But what is the main, the general overall it's about the ways to improve the man's presentation because she gave him advice such as adding computer graphics so that they can understand. That's one way that it could improve his presentation. The topic of his presentation is too general. It's not the main, right? We're looking for obviously the main reason why he went to her, okay? Now, again, statistics, computer science, or geology. Let's go into the next one. So this is how we got to follow because I'm compartmentalizing. I have no notes either, just like you. So let's go into the Number second two. question. Number two. For what class is the man probably preparing a presentation? Okay. Is he preparing a presentation for statistics? Is he preparing a presentation for computer science or geology? Now, the thing is, he's doing a presentation on a method of predicting earthquakes. And she said you could use computer graphics to show some of your statistics. I think that's what she said at the very end, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's about statistics, correct? Okay, now, is it about computer science based on him using computer graphics? Or is it more about geology? Because obviously the man's presentation is about predicting earthquakes. All right, so I would like to hear, now again, you guys have the answers on the course. You could post them down below. Uh, or you could just check them down below uh, and whatnot. But nonetheless, I'm just showing you a way to think and how to compartmentalize the information. That's exactly what I'm doing. 
So now we're going to go on to the next one. I believe this is three through five, if I'm not mistaken. But I have to wait and see exactly. Questions three to four. Okay, three to Listen four. Listen to a there conversation. Now, what's going to happen here? Three, it says a language teacher and a student, a dean and a teacher, a teacher and an assistant. So remember in the previous video, who is this going to be? Like, like, what are the two? Who are the two speakers? Right? Is it a teacher and a student? Is it a dean and a teacher, teacher and an assistant? This is why the beginning, again, like I already said, is very important. Follow that opening introduction because you're going to know the general just right then and there. Now, A, the language of the deaf. B, methods of teaching German. C, communication networks. This sounds like it could potentially be a student, right? I don't believe it's going to be a dean and a teacher, right? Based on these potentially being subjects. And if they're subjects, it has to be relatable to a student, but it could also be an assistant. So who knows? Let's listen together. And that takes place on a college campus. And it's on a college campus. Hi there, Dr. Newman. Do you remember me? Oh, sure. We met at the reception in the dean's office last week, didn't we? That's right. I'm Alice Hart. Are you on your way to a class? Yes, I am, but I'm not in any great hurry. How about you? Me too. I've got a German class in a few minutes. Well, I'm going to a language class myself. You see, I teach signing. Signing? Right, signing. Signing is just a short way of saying American Sign Language. It's the language deaf people use to communicate. Number three. Who are the people taking part in this conversation? Okay, so who are the people taking part in this conversation? Well, she ended up meeting them in reception, right? And she said doctor. Now, a dean and a doctor, not necessarily true. And she said she was going somewhere. Uh, she was going to a class. And he said he was going to a class too, but he was going to teach. So again, what, like I told you before, it sounds like she is a student. They met in reception and she called him doctor. Okay, it doesn't sound like an assistant. There's no, there's nothing around here that says assistant. Okay, now he says he's a language teacher because he teaches about, you know, signing, which is, you know, how people, you know, do the whole language of the deaf. So more than likely, C and number four, communication networks, probably not. Methods of teaching German, probably not. The language of the deaf, probably. So let's listen to the next question. So again, this is the 